Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. Oh my gosh, Merry Christmas. We It's Christmas Eve. Oh my God, we are excited. And just like every other evening, we are coming together for a check-in, our nightly check-in here at the Real Juicy Detox. We talk about everything detox related so that we can really, you know, get that golden key to unlock our health and vitality that golden key being detox in order to help our bodies clean itself out. So if you are into that kind of thing, if you are interested at all in healing your body from the inside out and detoxifying, cleaning, cleaning stuff out and getting yourself back to even better than not back to health and vitality. Most of us have never had health and vitality. So getting ourselves really healthy and really vital we are making today, we are making, uh, that's what we're about here. But today, this evening, drop in, say hello, say where you are tuning in from. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I know it's busy. It's a busy night. And I figured, I don't know who's going to drop into class. But if anybody is out there and you're watching, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. We're going to, we're going to whip up some pastels, you guys. Remember that, bur the Burnsy burger that I made? Do you guys remember the Burnsy burgers? Yes, I made these amazing Burnsy burgers this week and I seasoned it just like a pastel and just sprinkled it out on my um on my on my dehydrator. Okay, hi Facebook Live World, I'm ready for my close up. Are you ready for your surprise up? Appear special appearance? Yes, here's my beautiful daughter. Look at how gorgeous she is. I Look heard at this you are all very excited for Burns that I was coming home from the holidays. And since it's important to her, because it's important to you guys that I come on and say hi, I'll come on and say hi. Sometimes we Thank do, you. uh, we do things for those that we care very much about. In other words, only because, in other words I don't want to be on camera. Why are you making me do this? Wait, oh, shoot. No, so I like, really, this is something I've been going through a lot recently where it's sometimes we do things for people that we care a lot about because it's something that they would really appreciate. Even if you aren't super comfortable doing it 100%, you do it for them because you care about them. So. I love you too, babe. Look at her. Look at this skin though. Look at her. Look at that porcelain skin. Shout out Harvest Festival, Screaming Heads. Okay, I'll let you do your thing, Mom. You go <laughs> All around. right. All right, honey. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was my Kaya girl. Oh my God. Kaya girl. My Ka I mean, my Neekers. At least I didn't call you Dot or Kitty because that could have happened. I wanted to call you Puncha earlier and then I wanted to call Kitty Puncha like a second later. Yeah. Let me see, Dolly. Come. That was nice. Bring it on over here. Show everybody. Okay, I'll show. Oh, yeah. That was. Uh, oh. Who, who gave us that again? Michelle. Oh, yeah. Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, let me just show you guys over here. Michelle and Dave. No, that was before Dolly's time. I know, but it's just funny because Dolly said no, and I was like, I don't think Dolly knows what I'm talking about. No, Michelle and Dave, some Sue friends Lou, from Orangeville. Kim Jim, yeah. Mitch and Bitch. Yeah, and Michelle and Dave. <laughs> uh, funny. So we're going to make some pastels with this pastel meat that we made this past week. And, um, oh, my gosh, it is so good, so good. So disclaimer, if you guys are not wanting corn in your diet because it's a bit inflammatory, don't don't use it. Don't do it. But for me, I'm telling you, this microphone is really good. It's so powerful. It picks up, it, it picks up everything in the background. Yeah, just. It's a setting, though, where you can, like. It is. It's on that setting, but it's still, Yeah. It's pretty good in Glenda. Oh my God, I can have traffic zooming by and you don't hear it. But voices, oh yeah, you got to be really careful. Stealth, stealth, mic. stealth mic, stealth mic. So yeah, so drop in. Let me know if you're tuning in live. If you're here live, Merry Christmas. Are Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments because, uh, you know, we love to know these things. Hmm. So for these pastels, I'm going to slice up some olives. Tucker, Tucker in the house. Hey, babe. How are you? Are you having a good Christmas Eve? I am. I'm having an awesome Christmas Eve. 
So what I'm going to do here, thank you for popping in, by the way. Monique is in the house. Merry Christmas, beautiful. How are you? Are you having a good Christmas? It's Christmas Eve. Oh, my God. It's Christmas Eve. Okay, so I'm going to just drain out. Where's my strainer? I'm going to strain out these olives, and then I'm going to slice them up because these are also going to go into our pastels. Hey, 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 Jennifer, how are you? So good to see you here. Merry Christmas. What are you guys up to this Christmas Eve? Are your gifts all wrapped as yet? Dolly is down in the basement wrapping the gr Christmas gifts for the girls. Low battery mode. Come on. Come on. Come on, yumminess cam. Where is my... Dang it. Okay. I'm going to use this iPhone charger. Where did I put the iPhone charger? I, we went for a drive today and um, and my iPhone, my long charger, I left it in the in the truck, but there we go. I think that works. Do you mean to grab it for you? I can do a stage hand. No, it's okay. I, it's great having a stagehand, though, man. This is like a one-woman show. It ain't always easy, you know what I'm saying? Huh? It's seriously a one-man show, and I'm very impressed with your setup that you've got going on. This Thank like, you, babe. It's it's rocking. You've got it going on. It's, I've got it going on. There you've you got go. It going on. Got it going on, baby. T uh, Tucker says, uh, Melissa says, yes, good, just relaxing. Awesome. Monique says it's quiet. You're having a quiet Christmas Eve. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're here, babe. Merry Christmas, says Jennifer. We're going to wrap our stocking stuffers shortly. Awesome. Well, just keep me on. Like, let's just hang out. As we say in Trinidad, we live in. It's getting raw in here. So raw. So take off all the tea. You know what? I had yeah, bought, so I got... I'm gonna get my true song. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now we got Star we got background. No, it's good. No, 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 it's all good. We got background tunes. We got family popping in and out of the of the broadcast of the class. We're hanging out. It's Christmas Eve. Some of you are having a quiet Christmas Eve. So, hey man, you know what I figure? Why not just hang out? You know, have a have a glass of juice, have a glass of wine, have some champagne, have whatever you're having. We're not having any of that stuff because we don't do that stuff anymore. But if you do that stuff, knock yourself out. Have something good. Have some juice. Oh, my gosh. We have such a beautiful, fresh pineapple juice in the fridge, um, Danica, if you want anything. Help yourself. Huh? Gar garbage is under the sink. Yes, indeed. Rosie is here. Rosie, how are you, babe? How is Chris? How is Kiana? Are you guys having a good Christmas Eve? Yes, I know. It's spelled differently, but it's the same. That's my daughter's, uh, Danica's middle name. Huh? One of the, one of the girls, yeah. One of the middle names, yes. Yes, Danica has two middle names because she's extra special. Merry Christmas, dear friend, says Rosie. Kristen, oh my gosh, Kristen is here. Hi, Kristen. Everyone just left. We celebrate on Christmas Eve with family. It's also my son-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday to him. It was a wonderful evening. Kids loved it. They are the perfect age right now. I saw your post about that. I thought, oh my gosh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, indeed. Merry Christmas. Rockstar Ruiz is in the house. Oh, my gosh. How are you doing, my friend? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're going to be here tomorrow as well, and I'm going to be saying that phrase a lot. Merry Christmas. But, yes, welcome and Merry Christmas. I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you for choosing me to spend your time with this Christmas Eve. Are you guys having anything special going on with your friends, your family, or is this a quiet, a quiet Christmas? What's happening? 
what is happening in all of your worlds. I'm just going to pour this back into here. I'm getting these ingredients ready. These are kind of the things that go on top of the meat part of our patty. So if you don't know, Trinidadian pastels are very much like a tamale. And uh, inside of the corn, there is a, um, inside of the corn dough pa uh, pastry, I guess you would call it, um, there is a meat filling. And then on top of that meat filling, there is um, olives and capers and slivered almonds, which I could not find. I was like, no, slivered almonds, but we're going to forego that. And um, um, what else? Capers and raisins. So we're just getting some of those topping things ready right now. And I think I'm done with this. Mm. These olives are yummy. You know my my penchant for cleaning as I go. I want to make sure that I don't have a huge mess on my hands. And funny enough, this class is going to be a little bit longer because Dolly really wanted me to make these pastels so that he can, whoops, so that he can have them. He's going to do some snow plowing work tonight. Yeah. But first, right now, he is wrapping uh, the presents for the girls. And then he's going to go and have a meet up with the, um, the snow plow kind of the, the, the dude who owns the company, friend of his at work, friend who he works with said, Hey, we need, um, we need some extra, um, snow removal people for this part-time gig that I do during the winter. Would you be interested? And he's like, yeah, sure. Why not? Chance to earn a little extra, you know, funny money <laughs> or bill money. Off my yes, definitely. I, I You're do. always welcome. I'm also wrapping the couple presents I got from family. So here is here's from so This is your camera up here. Is, oh, yes, let me let me. The nice ribbon work. Here we go. Very pretty. And then this this one is uh, is Dali. Very nice. Yeah, nice and, and just having fun with some ribbon, some ribbon stuff. Very pretty. Double double ribbon going four ways. Very it's, pretty. It's nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, you did an I used, awesome I used job. So much tape on that. It's okay. <laughs> it looks beautiful, honey. Good job. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, Christmas Eve. Everybody wrapping their Christmas presents. Yeah, Christmas somebody Eve. was saying. So somebody was saying that in class today. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Are you, are you all set? Are you ready? Are yeah. you wrapping? They're like, oh God, no. We're like you. We're like wrapping. We're like shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're still friends. Christmas Eve. This is, that's still shopping time, right? He's teaching his uh, younger brother how to wrap Christmas as is. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to show you a picture of him mm -hmm. later. Where's my fan? A uh, hot. It's hot in here, right? It's getting hot in here. Keep your clothes on, though. Yeah. Keep your clothes on. But but you want to take the peel of the fruit off before you do. It's getting raw in here, so raw, so take off all your peel. I am getting so raw, I'm gonna get my juice on. Can you hear that? Yeah, there you go. I like that. You're awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. You gotta cut some, uh, you gotta do some recording with Kaya. Let's get a jingle up in here. Cool. Hey, Sharon. Sharon is here as well. Merry Christmas, everyone. Rosie says, it's a quiet Christmas here. Just the two kids, hubby and me. That is perfect. That is perfect. A great little gathering to make some beautiful memories. Awesome. Rosie says, hey, Burns, guess what? My sister brought me tamales and I couldn't resist. I ate one, but I didn't eat the meat. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> Listen, you can make the Burnsy burgers and then you're set, baby. I mean... 
to be honest, the corn can be a little inflammatory. So just want to watch that if you're in a high detox mode, but if it's Christmas time, if you're going to have a cheat or treat meal, you know what I'm saying? Why is my fan making noise? It's okay. Let me rinse this out. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to make the cornmeal part. So we've got the filling part done. Let me just show you that on the yumminess cam. Uh, uh, Melissa says, good singing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. She's here all week, folks. She's here all week. Well, She's not, but it's an expression. It's an expression. Hey, Kelly. Merry Christmas. Oh, you got to come and say hi to Kelly. Kelly's going to be like, oh, my gosh, where is she? Let me see her beautiful face. Hey, Kelly. Look at how beautiful she Merry is. Merry Christmas to you, too. Oh, my hands are nice and cold. Oh, my hands are always cold. Thyroid. I'm either freezing or I'm boiling. I know. Thyroid. I'm yeah, sorry. No, we no. inherited some messed up. Yeah, I've been figuring that that's kind yeah. of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good, though. Antuka, Antuka. It's anyway. all good. Oh, Kelly sends lots of love and kisses and whatever that emoji is. Oh, Where, can you love. scroll off of this? Like, oh, it's so here, cute. right here on the screen. Oh, it's see like, right there. It's like the it's like the receiving love. It's yes, like hearts all over my face. I like there's like the blowing the kiss heart emoji, and then this is like the receiving of that. Oh. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this, and Dolly can fix it for Kaya at a later time. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so so let's get to making the corn part of this tamale or pastel, as we call it in Trinidad. Super easy to make. Super easy. So it's gonna be like a like a hybrid tamale pastel kind of thing. No, I just let them know that it's like a tamale because that's I, yeah because that's, that's how what, I explain to people too what a pastel is. It's, it's like, like a tamale because that's what their okay. reference point is. Yeah, if they know what a tamale is. Yeah, right? but most people know what a tamale is. Yeah. So it's uh no, it's actually a pastel. It is a pastel with raw okay. vegan. Yes, I know. I saw a picture of pizza or whatever. Oh, yeah, baby. So this is going to be so good. So we're going to just use two cups. Oh, let me just show you that. Hold you on. I did. That is made with buckwheat. So this corn, this promassa is um, has a really um, distinct flavor. And it is the, the one that is really tried, tested, and true, the one that my my mother and my father, the one that my parents made, the one that sort of I grew up on, so to speak. And I was at the, um, the West Indian grocery store, and I saw that they had the Promassa, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to get that. You know, when it's, when it's Christmas time, you kind of want a little bit of that authenticity, and, um, you know, my concession is that I'm not putting any meat in it, right? So, and I also don't eat it all the time. It's a sometime treat. So uh, two cups of cornmeal. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there to season that up a little bit. And as you guys might know, you may know, you may not know, but on January the 1st, we're starting a brand new uh, juice feast. And so enjoy your Christmas, whatever you're going to have. Just do it in moderation. You know, if you can avoid having the, the things that are the worst offenders when it comes to your detox, avoid those things. Make versions of that or the flavor profile you want of that. But if you're going to indulge, you know what? enjoy it and then come right back to your juicing the next day in fact to help you along with that what we're going to do is from december 25th until december 20 uh, 31st so, no sorry not december 25th burns that would be tomorrow from the 27th of december monday or sunday to the 31st of december we are doing a warm-up yes a warm-up to our juice cleanse 
And what you can do is follow along a lot of the dishes that we've been making in the last couple of weeks. You can, um, you know, start getting those uh, kind of recipes ready for you, like the Bernsey burgers. Oh my gosh, the wraps. Oh yeah, the the dips you can make the day of a lot of the time. And then just follow along with us, jump on board. Or if you're already on your juicing journey, like uh, like Wanda, man, my thumb, I really messed up my thumb lately. Ow, what did I do? I messed up my thumb lately, y'all. Now, usually I do not share these classes, um, the evening classes in the different groups, but you know what? Cause I don't want to, I don't want to overwhelm the groups. You know what I'm saying? And in the groups, um, I'm going to share this out to some of the juicy groups because I know people are here. Candy girl, my candy girl, candy girl. You are my world. Hello, beautiful. I miss you. I love you. Merry Christmas. How are you? Everything good? Oh, my God. Hey, I found organic flour at my natural grocery store. <gasps> Rosie, that is amazing. Oh, my God, what a find. Hey, Mike. Mike is in the house enjoying Christmas Eve with my beautiful family. I'm sure they would agree. Nothing else tastes as good as healthy feels. Yes. Wishing Merry Christmas and good health to you, your family, and friends. Thank you so much, my friend. Mike, I'm so happy that you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Merry Christmas to you and yours as well. Cheryl is in the house. Merry Christmas, everyone from Cheryl. Lisa Marie is in the house. Oh my God. Isn't she adorable though? She's amazing. Love her to love her to pieces. Love her to pieces. How is your Gigi doing, Candy Girl? How is Gigi? How is Tia? T -t 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 Tia. Tia. It's Burns. Tia. Terry is here. Merry Christmas from Terry. Oh my gosh, I love that you guys are popping in with your Christmas wishes for each other and for ourselves. What a great community we have. Okay, I'm going to go add two cups of warm water to this mixture. Do you like my tights? Look at my Christmas tights. Oh, that's too warm. Okay. I've got two cups of warm water added to that cornmeal. Oh, I was going to share this to the groups. I'm going to share this to eating to live, not living to eat, juicing and raw food support, juicing for health, solid food vacation, um, I'm going to also share this to the Dr. Morse groups because, man, if it wasn't for our dear Dr. Morse, right, I wouldn't be here standing here sharing this with you. So, yes, so we share it to those groups. I, like I said, I usually do not share it out in the evening because, you know, I don't want to be like oversharing and then, you know, people feel like, what is wrong with this girl? She's sharing too much. Um, so... Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more water in here. I did not mix that fast enough. Oops. So let me get that mixed together. I'm going to throw in some olive oil into that. Let's get some olive oil going in that as well. Now, usually pastels are made with a lot more, um, that might be a lot of oil, but that's okay. Like I said, this is a sometime food, not an all the time food. So it's all good, but I'm just gonna mix that around. I'm gonna get this into a bigger bowl actually. I see you. 
Okay, let's get this mixed into a bigger bowl, shall we? And I'm going to get in here with my hands, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know what's you know what the, the dealio is here, right? Just get that mixed in together. Hi, Wanda. I see you. How are you doing, babe? How are the babies? How's your Christmas Eve going? So I'm just going to press and squeeze and knead and just get this all coming together. Yeah, usually pastels are made with butter as well. We're not doing that. No, we're not. We are not doing that. I'm just using some good old fashioned olive oil. So yeah. So yes, if you have good um, uh, organic corn, organic corn is said to not be inflammatory. And um, unfortunately, this is not organic corn, but this is one of those things where it's like, dude, it's Christmas time. I'm having some pastel. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? All right. So we've got our beautiful dough. It's come together really nicely. You don't really have to knead it. Um, kneading is when you develop the gluten inside of of flour, but there is no gluten, that which is one good thing about, about corn flour. So now what we're going to do now that we have our dough mixed together, Auntie Marina. Hello, Auntie Marina. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Auntie Marina is my auntie down in Trinidad. How are you doing, honey? I love you. Christmas greetings to you and all of the family in turn. Now look what I'm doing, Auntie Marina. I'm making pastels. I'm making pastels on Christmas Eve. Yes, man, yes. My, my parents and I, this tradition, look at us, up to 21 people in the, in the house right now on Christmas Eve as we're making some Trinidadian favorites. I wanna make some like little ones, but you know, I always say that and then I end up overstuffing the dough. So let me just let me just start out with a big piece of dough one time, okay? And I think that looks quite nice. Now I'm doing this a little bit like not quite 100% traditional because Trinidad in Trinidad what we do when we have our pastels is that we wrap them with um, fig leaf or banana leaves. The other way to wrap them as well is in tin foil, but I don't want to wrap my food in foil anymore, you know, because I don't want any of that aluminum leaching out of the foil and into my food. So what I've been doing lately is I've been just brushing them with some olive oil, putting them in my steamer and letting them steam like that. Now I know it kind of, it's not as, I don't know, juicy is the right word, not as moist the dough, but I, I kind of don't mind it, you know? <clears throat> so one of the things I need to do is I need to get I need to get some a roll of um, paper towels. Let me see if I can find that because I want to have or at least a rag that I can wet. Hold on a second.
Okay. Here we go. So I have a thank you, Auntie Marina. Babies are good. It's going great. Awesome. I'm so I'm so happy that you guys are here. So I've got a a rag that I'm going to wet and place over the balls as I as I make them so that the dough doesn't dry out. Okay, so let me do this. All right. What a great group we've got going in here, you guys. So if you're brand new to me and to what I talk about here on my page and on my YouTube channel, first of all, I want to welcome you. So great to have you here. So grateful that you have tuned in and uh, you're just opening yourself up to whatever it is this crazy chick with the mohawk is doing here on Christmas Eve. But I'm so grateful that you are here. So let me just explain to you a little bit what I do here. I help, uh, I help amazing people just like you, uh, you know, get their bodies sorted out. You know, I help you with detoxification. I help to help to, you know, help to get you to understand what detox is, how to make a healthy lifestyle out of it, and why it is so important to detox the body. And the reason is because detoxification is that golden key that unlocks your health and vitality, your inner world of health and vitality. We have a whole world inside of us that can either be really healthy, you know, or could be unhealthy. And whichever uh, chemistry we are putting in the body on an overall basis, that really dictates sort of our inner world, whether we're, we're really healthy and vibrant or whether we're struggling, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you know very much about my story or not, but I was diagnosed with gastrointestinal stromal tumor in 2011 and had uh, had 90% of my stomach removed back in 2011. Yeah, and I've had a nine year journey with this, this condition called gastrointestinal stromal tumor, AKA cancer what I now know, <laughs> what I now know, the truth of, about it is that it's just damaged cells. That's all that it is. It's dead damaged cells. It's not this entity that's migrating around your body. And, you know, it's none of that. It's just, um, it's just dead damaged cells that I I'm experiencing in my body. Now, why am I experiencing that, that in my body? Because I've had a lifetime of eating crap, <laughs> absolute garbage, not always either intentionally. So a lot of times I was eating food that I just was, I grew up on, or that was just there things that, you know, we're conditioned to believe is good for us. And that is food and it's not right. It's really, um, acid chemistry when you really understand that. So um, yeah, so I had 90% of my stomach removed in 2011 and then the tumors returned and this time on my liver and I went through from 2011 to 2017, I was on, um, Gleevec medicine for a large part of that, a chemotherapy type drug, which pretty much <laughs> destroyed me on the inside in so many ways. Oh my God, it was horrible. And, uh, you know, in 2017, I ended up having to have 75% of my liver removed. Yeah. Because the tumors were back. And of course the tumors were back because I never really did anything to take care of the problem. What caused it? I never understood it. The doctors didn't understand it, right? Doctors don't know. You ask doctors, in fact, the doctors flat up, straight up told me that. We don't know what causes this. We don't know what to do about you, except, you know, take this chemotherapy drug. And I'm like, no, I'm not taking any more chemotherapy drugs. I don't care what you say. I'm not doing it to my body. Okay, well, then we'll just cut the tumor out. And it's like, you know, so they cut the, they cut, took my liver and 75% of my liver and my gallbladder 
removed in 2017. And, you know, it came back as things would when you don't take care of the problem from the cause, as, as things would when you only treat the symptom of what you have, right? So you can cut your body open only so many times, right? You can only, you can only go through cancer surgery to remove major parts of your body so many times before your body just says, no, sorry, not, it's not, we're done. And uh, this past spring in, in March, April, May, I was being scheduled for another liver resection surgery, dude, for real, for real. I was about to have my third open abdominal surgery to deal with this cancer. And thank God, thank God for the CO and the rest of it ID, right? Thank God for what we've been going through in 2020. I don't want to say the word because I don't want to get, you know, anyhow. Let me just rinse this out. A little extreme cleaning. So I, my life was kind of put on hold. It was kind of like, okay, okay. What? I was freaking out, you guys. I was freaking out. Sorry, I'm pulling up my pants here. I'm pulling up my pants. I'm pulling up my pants. Don't lose your pants, babe. Do not lose your pants. Anyhow. Because of the current situation in healthcare, um, I was not able to get a surgery date right away. I was basically told we need to bring you in for surgery to have your liver removed again. And we don't know when that surgery date is going to be because this is elective surgery. This is elective surgery because if it's not, if it's not emergency, if you didn't come through the emergency room, you know, you didn't get a gunshot wound or break your arm or whatever, and you're in the emergency room, it's considered elective. So basically, I was put on hold. I, my life felt like it was on hold. I was in limbo. I had all of the pre-op appointments with my surgical team and my doctors, my oncologists, all of them. But I was told that we don't know when your surgery is going to be. It could be tomorrow. It could be in three months. We don't, it could be next year. We don't know because, you know, a lot of people behind you in the line, in front of you in the line. So that gave me an opportunity to kind of hit pause on the whole craziness that was turning into my life again. And it was really, it was really a time of me coming to, a, you know, I had to surrender. I was on my knees and my hands were in the air in the, in the, you know, figuratively and just saying, Oh my God, please just show me the next step, the next thing to do on my journey, because I, I don't know what to do, man. First of all, I was 150 pounds. I was 25 pounds heavier than I am now. And I knew that if I was going to go into surgery, I was going to need to lose some freaking weight because, you know, I packed it on a little bit, right? All the stress eating of the last two years of my life, to be honest with you, I had really, I had really let myself go because I was just so stressed. You ever get really stressed? Do you ever get so stressed that you just feel like, oh my God, I'll just, I need to console myself. I need to comfort myself. Where's the food? You know what I'm saying? That was my life. That was my life. And I, um, <laughs> ah, I fig I found out about juicing one day from a beautiful young woman on my YouTube. Uh, one of my the people that I subscribe to. Um, one day I saw her talking about um, that she was doing this juicing thing to lose some weight, and she was going on and on about this dude who I had never heard of. His name was Jason Vale, V-A-L-E, 
and she was talking about this juicer that she got and it was the best juicer. Turns out she was talking about a masticating juicer. And I was like, okay, I need to find out more. I had done a juicing program with my girl Candy, my Candy girl, um, a couple years before, but I never really understood kind of from the, the physical side of things what I was doing. So when I discovered Jason Vale, so when I started watching this woman, the beautiful young woman's um, uh, story about her juicing, I immediately looked up this Jason Vale and was blown away by what I saw. He had done this documentary. He had done, this is really dry. I don't like how dry this mixture is. It's dry and yet it feels moist when you, when you, press it together. Maybe it's going to be okay. Okay. Let me just leave it on there. So anyhow, I, um, I, I went and I found the, the video that she was referring to, um, talking about his juice. It's called juice, juice it up and it's on YouTube. And I watched it and I was just like the people, he took eight people through a, um, a juice detox and these eight people, all different walks of life, all different ages, but the the, the transformations that they had were just mind blowing. The, the, the transformations of their health and vitality, their illnesses, the amount of prescription drugs that they were able to stop the, um, the, the dis-ease in the body that they, uh, were able to heal. It was just so profound. You know what I'm saying? So I looked at it and I just thought, all right, that's it. If those people can heal from those things, I'm sure I can heal from my thing too. And I started this juicing the next day, June 1st, 2020. That was 160. Oh, hold on. Hey, Siri, how many days has it been since June 1st? 206 days ago. So 206 days ago, I started this juice thing. And I just went all in. I started immediately to feel so much better. By the way, as I'm talking to you about this story of how this all kind of came to be and how important it is to understand that if you want to change anything in your life, in your body, that's happening in your body, you absolutely have to start looking at the chemistry that you're putting into your body, you know? So I made this little pastel as I'm chatting this up with you guys. Look at how cute that is. And what I'm going to do now is now, if you, if we were in Trinidad, I would wrap this with a banana leaf, you know, tie it with some string and onto the steamer pot, it would go, but can't find banana leaves in Canada right now. So what we're going to do is I have some uh, parchment paper, just like so, that we're going to place the pastel onto like that. And that is going to go into my steamer basket, which is downstairs. So I'll go get that. And um, I'm going to just brush that. I'm going to brush that with a little bit of oil if I can find it. If I can find my brush, there's my brush. And I need to get a pot of water going. So hold on one second. How are you guys doing? Are you good? Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Listen, <laughs> every year that you can celebrate another Christmas is a good year. I'm telling you, it feels so good. It feels so good. Feels so good to be alive, baby. I burnt my pot last night, so I need to clean it off. Shoot. Okay.
Okay. Let's get this on the stove. And I'm just going to run downstairs real quick. I have to get the steamer baskets for this. So I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, so these are the steamer baskets. These are just Chinese dumpling steamer baskets. And I'm just going to place the pastels right onto that piece of parchment paper, just like so. And I'm just gonna brush them with a little bit of oil just to prevent it from drying out. Uh, you know, because usually these would be completely wrapped up in foil, but like I said, I don't want to do that. So yeah, so I've been on quite the journey with this whole cancer thing. So when I started, um, uh, when I started the juicing, uh, one thing led to another, one teacher led to another teacher and so on and so on. And what ended up happening was I ended up discovering Dr. Robert Morse, who is a naturopath who for the past 51 years has been helping people, that's a cute little one, has been helping people um, heal themselves from all kinds of illnesses and ailments. And, um, and I decided as soon as I found him, I realized, oh my God, this is the answer. This is the answer that I've been searching for and, and praying for. So I decided that I was going to become, uh, I was going to take his course, his certified detoxification specialist course, because I wanted to know, I wanted to heal my body and to know with, 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 with no shadow of a doubt, everything that I was doing and the right way to do it. Because after studying some of his videos on the YouTube, and I highly encourage you guys to check out his videos because, wow, so much powerful information. Um, I decided that, you know what? This is what I need. This is the information that I have been looking for. This is the information that I need for my body to heal. So I... Um, I, I signed up to take his certification program so that I can know without any doubt all of the information that I would need in order to find finally a real solution for, for my body to heal itself. And a hundred and two hundred and how many days later? What did that what did Siri just say? Here we are. And I've done, my first 40 days was all 100% strictly juice. Uh, the first two weeks were a lot of vegetable juices because I did not understand that the power to actually heal and clean out the body lies in fruits. Yes, it is not in vegetables. I mean, yes, vegetables are great. There's nothing wrong with vegetables. Okay, don't get me wrong. But when you're looking at the highest... Uh, when you're looking at something like cancer, what you want in your body is the highest amplitude of energy and vitality and nutrition and, and just the electromagnetic energy that are contained within fruits. Fruits are far superior uh, for the body to heal. Can you heal the body on vegetables? Yes, some people can, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. There is a power with the fruits that is uh, that we need to really pay attention to, all right? They have been measured to have the most electromagnetic energy, and they are the most, uh, you know, 
They have the most electrolytes. It's right in their right in the name. Electrolytes contained within the fruits is, you know, is where the 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 healing and the power can really come into your life. So started that, did the detox specialist course. I've been doing uh, so I did my first 40 days was um uh, vegetables. And then as soon as I found Dr. Morris and understood the power in fruits and in mono fruit, fruit cleansing in particular, I went right in on the watermelon baby went right in. Yes. People around me were skeptical. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I knew what resonated for me in terms of truth. And this program, this protocol is what resonated the most for me. And I put it into practice. I put the nutrition into my body that Dr. Moore said he has helped people heal from all kinds of dis-ease in the body, from multiple sclerosis to cancer to uh, Parkinson's to uh, everything, everything under the sun, everything under the sun. And I put it in my body and um, I can honestly say, Oh my God. Oh my God. I started helping other people who saw what I was doing as I started to share and put it out into the world. And they started to heal themselves. They started to have their conditions completely eliminated. I was starting to get messages on my private messages on Facebook messenger constantly. Oh my God, Burns. I saw what you were doing. I did it. I've been following you. I've put it into practice in my life and no more polycystic uh, ovarian cancer, no more uh, or whatever, no more picos, no more this, no more that high blood pressure, normalized cancer gone. And I was just standing back and I was like, wow, what the heck you guys are actually, you're doing this too. You know, cause me, I'm just all about sharing as soon as I, discover something i'm i'm like i need to share this with the world like look uh, once i once i got my my footing and my grounding you know once i became really truly comfortable with what i was doing i was like i i mean cuz for the first 40 days most of the first 40 days i was just quietly healing myself quietly waking up at sunrise every morning i was at my sister's cottage at the time and i was just immersing myself in my, in my study and in my practice and, and in my juicing and lo and behold, my body just started changing. My chronic pain went away. My frozen shoulder eased up. The pain under my foot was gone. I was my, my lipoma on my, my, on the, my back shoulder was almost gone, almost, almost immediately. And I was just like, this is amazing. This is crazy. I felt so good. I was getting rid of all kinds of crap inside of my colon. That was just like crazy, 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 crazy. And my life was forever changed. And then people around me started taking notice and started doing it on their own. Duda, Dali's cousin, um, you know, completely stopped her seizures. Her seizures were completely gone. Her like powerful families being transformed, kids healing. Um, Sahara's kids saw what I was doing through, um, you know, the Facebook lives that I started sharing and her daughter, Aliyah, 10 years old, uh, Aliyah Sehar, I don't know if your kids are watching and if you guys are on, it's Christmas Eve. Welcome, by the way. So it's been a, amazing. I remember that day you said you that you said you were signing up. You remember the day that I said I was signing up for the um, for the course? Yeah, that was crazy, man. Yeah, Kelly, you've been you've been here for the whole ride. You've seen well for the whole ride since you found me with the Dr. Morse groups. Because what I did was. I went on to Facebook to try to find the communities where are people doing this? How do I, how do I, you know, um, how do I see what's going on within this community? How do I, how are other people doing it? What are other people's successes? And I joined a couple of the, of the juicing community groups, right? And that's where some of you have found me. And just like when I was doing the Dr. Joe Dispenza meditations and I was really getting into it then, 
uh, with the meditations, just like how I would, how I was like, right away, I was like, oh, I need to, I need to, I need to be a part of this community. I need to come on, on camera. I need to, we need to talk about this. We need to get, let's go. Right. That's me. That's me. That's, that's, that's my, that's, that's how I am. Right. And uh, that's where I met a lot of you. And that's why I'm always sharing this, um, these live streams back out into these communities, because I met so many of you through these communities and I've learned so much um, in my, in my journey from a lot of you and with a lot of you, you've seen it unfold and gosh, I'm just so happy that you're here, that we're here together. No way fruits, no way fruits alone. What about protein and vitamin B12, right? Where do you get your protein from? Oh, it's too many calories. Oh, what about the sugar? Oh my God, where do you get your B12 from? What about deficiencies? Stop it. Everything that you need is contained within the fruits, melons, and berries, vegetables, nuts, and seeds that the creator put here for our sources of fuel, for our sources of of um, uh, bioavailable amino acids, right? Oh my goodness, Emoji King, how you doing, my friend? Emoji King in the house. It's Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, how are you and your queen and your Princess Elizabeth doing? Oh my goodness, I'm making these pastels again. Look at, perfect pastel shape, perfect pastel pie. We are ready to go into the steamer, into the steamer for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's put that in there over a pot of boiling water, boiling water. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh my God. You guys are here. A <laughs> rock star is laughing at emoji King. Yeah. Sign a, Okay, Emoji King, you're killing me with the long, with the big words. Vitamin B12, yep, yep. Hey, Rockstar, dude, I love the empty belly. I'm not hungry at all. You are rocking your juicing cleanse, Emoji King. I'm so proud of you, my friend. You're getting back all of that vibrancy, all of that health and vitality. Emoji King has been doing... Uh, this juicing lifestyle since the freaking seventies, y'all. He is old school with this. So happy that you are here. So happy that you are part of our community. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh my goodness. So yeah, so detox is the way to your health and vitality. And when you learn Listen, when I learned from Dr. Morse how simple this whole thing is and how simply it is about the chemistry that you put into your body and the chemistry that your body, how your body utilizes that chemistry, what it turns that chemistry into, you know, food is chemistry. We are chemical processing plants is what we are. And when I learned that Cancer is just damaged cells, just dead tissue. I went, oh my God, that makes so much sense. And when he started teaching me that, you know, uh, that acids are what corrode and erode the body and that causes all dis-ease in the body and that we completely are the ones that are putting in the acid slurry or the alkaline environment, either one, by way of the food that we eat, it made total sense because I knew what kind of food I was eating. I know what kind of food I ate my entire life. I knew that the kind of health that I've had my entire life because of that, you know, appendicitis at like eight years old, nearly dying from that. Man, I've, I've just, the amount of crap I've eaten the amount of sugar I've been addicted to, you know, when you start putting one and one and one and one and one together and you realize, Oh damn, what? Or as the saying goes, as you, when you put two and two together, 
and you realize that that number four that you're getting when you put two and two together, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I found you through Juicing Mama. Yes. <clears throat> I think she removed me from that group since then, Kelly. Funny, right? Anyhow, I'm glad that you found me through Juicing Mama. Burn Z. Yes, my friend. Rockstar Ruiz says, me too, Emoji King. I feel my best on juice. Yes. I can't wait to do our one gallon of OJ today. Oh my God. Amazing. That'll clean you out. That'll get you detox. Wow. I love orange juice too. I'm on an orange juice and pineapple juice um, protocol right now with some chewing food and it's Christmas. So we're making pastels. These are Trini pastels. Now in Trinidad, we would not do the final thing like this. We would wrap it in a banana leaf, but I don't have banana leaf. I'm not wrapping it in foil because I do not want that aluminum leaching into my system. So I'm just going to do them open like this and uh, it compromises a little bit on the texture of the cornmeal, just a little bit. It's not quite as, you know, moist, but that's okay because it's still good. It's still so good. So that's what I'm doing right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. It's Christmas Eve, you guys. So I want to know what are some of your traditional <clears throat> cultural uh, favorites from where you come from? Let me know what your culture is. So I would, for example, I'm Trinidadian, pastels. That's what we usually typically have on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, <laughs> New Year's, right? Let me know in the comments, where are you from and what are some of your traditional um, Christmas foods? It's Christmas Eve and we're making pastels. Yes. Yes. How is my pastel making? Where are my Trini people at? How is my pastel form? Am I good? Am I doing it all right? Now, now Google it. I'm doing it again. I haven't done this since I was in my early 20s. Oh my gosh, Emoji King. Merry Christmas, Naya. How are you? Oh my gosh, Olga is here. Merry Christmas, Burns, and all our juicy family. Yes. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Olga. Hey, 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 Ch Chantina. Chantina, oh my gosh, welcome to class. Is this your first time seeing the class? Is this your first time being here? I know it's the first time that you're commenting. What time did I put those in at? Like maybe two minutes ago. So I got to go till 5, 10. Hmm, I'm going to say 20, maybe 25 after 9 that these will be ready. All right, all right, all right. I hope this is going to work because yeah, this meat, this, I think this meat is okay. I don't want it to be too dry. You know, I kind of, I kind of don't want pastels to be too dry. I think they'll be all right because the actual, the actual meat, it has some moisture to it, even though it looks quite dry. Um, this is vegan, by the way, all vegetables. I would say the filling is raw vegan, except that it has some roasted chestnuts in it. Um, and the roasted chestnuts are still alkaline because they're chestnuts and all, you know, chestnuts are alkaline. That's right. They are in, I'm Puerto Rican and we have pastels. Do you make them similar to this? Do you make them similar to this? That is so cool. So cool. Usually I would also add into this some, um, slivered almonds, but I didn't, couldn't find any last minute shopping for my almonds today. And I was not in the right store at the end of the day. So I, I didn't, uh, didn't get the almonds, but is this kind of similar to what you do as well? And thank you for coming by the way. Yes, this is your first time. Welcome. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am excited. Welcome. 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 So great to meet you, Chinti, Ch Chantina. Chantina. I love your name too. My God, that's awesome. Emoji King says, I know I have a demanding healing experience coming up soon. Can you feel your healing experience coming up? You can feel it, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We heal. When we heal the body on a physical level, we also go through quite a bit on the emotional, the mental, the spiritual level. Absolutely. It is all encompassing, right? And uh, sometimes we can feel it. Sometimes I can feel it too. I can feel that emotional swell coming on. Guys, I'm so excited about these little pastels because I think they're really, oh yeah. Oh baby, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Listen, I have made thousands of pastel in my day, okay? Usually with my family, with my dad, my mom, my sisters, we would all, it would be like a whole production line, you know what I'm saying? Because we would make hundreds of these, hundreds of these at a time. So excited that you're here, Chantina. Welcome, 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 babe. Tamales and pozole are very traditional in my culture. Yes, you are also have a Latina culture. Remind me again, Rosie, where are you from again? I have so many people who have this type of uh, cultural thing. Yes, a healing crisis. Yes, yes, yes. Chris and Kiana are in the kitchen with me listening to you. That is so cool. Can you wrap your pastels in corn husk? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any corn husks going on right now because it's not corn season either. But you can you can totally wrap your um, your pastels in corn husk. None of none of which none of those things of which I have on hand right now. Yeah, but corn husks would totally, totally work. So yeah, you can totally do, the, do them in corn husk. Chantina says, starting my journey to health. Can't wait. I'm glad I found you. Oh my God, that is so cool. That is so cool. I'm so glad that you found us as well. Our class, our community is absolutely just so amazing. Very, very positive, very welcoming no judgment, you know, uh, I set a very positive, inclusive tone in here. And uh, we got all the good vibes up in here. We got the good vibes up in here. So yeah, I'm really happy that you're here and that you found us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, here at the Real Juicy Detox, we, um, yes, there is, babe. At the Real, uh, right here in the Real Juicy Detox, what we do is that we um, we realize that detoxification is a, is a golden key that unlocks our inner world of health and vitality. And we come together as a community to support each other on this journey and to help each other and to grow and to learn and to share ideas. And, oh, it's so great. Um, Chantina, if you are on Facebook, I really encourage you to find the Facebook group, the description, it's the link is in the description of this video. And the Facebook group is called The Real Juicy Detox. And, and uh, tons of ideas, tons of recipes. We're starting a new challenge for January the 1st. And a warm up to that is going to be um, just doing either a, a fully raw chewing food menu, diet, kind of, I don't tell you what to eat. I give you, I, we talk about ideas and we're here for inspiration and motivation and just accountability. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when we're trying to create a new healthier lifestyle for ourselves. We, um, hey, Danica, can you pass me one of those juices? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's fine. Thank you. My pineapple juice. Yeah. So cinnamon. Yep, spoons are right here. I have nutmeg, yeah. It's, it's a matter of where, where did I put them? Right here. Perfect. So they're here, and then I have a microplaner that you can use. I'm just going to 
Yeah. Okay, so here's another pastel. And then again, I'm just going to brush this with a little olive oil. Just like so. That is so loud. I know. I don't hear a microphone. I'm sorry. I just like, the ice cubes are huge. Okay. All righty. So, yeah, I'm really glad that you found us and that you're starting your journey here with us. If there's anything that I can help you uh, with, any questions at all, please feel free to ask. That is why I'm doing these classes live because, you know. Ooh, la, la. Oh because we can learn together. You know what I'm saying? Right. I thought you were from Mexico. I thought so. I, 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 yeah. I know. I think I said Latina. I think that was totally wrong, but <laughs> forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. So I'm just continuing to just motor along here, baby. Getting these pastels done. What time is it? Ooh, those ones in the oven are going to be ready soon. Okay, okay. Do you want me to go with you to the thing, to the place? Well, I'm going to be staying and working all night. You will be staying there from 1030? Really? Mm. I'm going there, so I can't promise. I don't want to drive back. Okay. Okay, so we're just finishing up these pastels. Yeah, so if you have any questions, please let me know because I answer... Sorry, I was distracted there just a minute ago with, uh, with the... <laughs> with the, uh, the family activity in the background, which is all good. So look at how cute my pastels are. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about these, you guys. So yes, if you have any questions at all at any time, please use the, this class time to ask me your questions. Don't think, oh my God, she's like, she's on a different tangent. She's like talking about something else. I'm not gonna interrupt her, no interrupt me. See, this is what I did not want to happen. Why are you breaking up like that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I said, stop it. Flip it over. I will flip you over, baby. I think those other ones might be ready to come out soon. Let me check. They don't look too bad. I think another five minutes will be good. And that gives us, I've got four more, four more to go. So we're just going to keep on motoring through here. That's awesome. I would love to join. I watch lots of Dr. Morse videos. Amazing. It's just been so hard to get started. I need to heal. It's been years of being sick and I'm tired and ready for this journey. Well, you are in the right place, babe, because listen, we've all been through it. Okay. And so many of us here are, um, are, are just, we've developed a really beautiful community. So welcome, 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 settle in, get comfy. I go live three times a day. That's right. Three times a day. I have a beautiful catalog of videos that I've been uploading for the last, um, 60, what number is this class? 65 or I can't remember. 68, 67, I don't know, 60 something. And um, yeah, it's been great. So when you're in class, if you have any questions that pop up, 
let me know. I've got some really good um, uh, classes that you might want to check out that might help you, all of it from Dr. Morris as well. So uh, in the playlist, and I've got the playlist linked here, you can find a couple of really good starting places to see, you know, what might help you along this journey. Uh, one is called Detox 101 and one is called Detox 102, but I also have a playlist as well of other master classes that I've done. I've got master classes on uh, sugar and carbohydrates, the truth and everything, nothing but the truth. I've got the protein myth, right? I've got, uh, got a lot of cool stuff on the channel here. So make sure you check those out. Um, and yeah, welcome again. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. You found, you found a great community here. I'm curious how you found us. I'm curious how you found us. Did you see a comment of mine on a Dr. Morris video? Did you, where did you hear about us? Where did you hear about the real juicy detox? Was it a, did it pop up in your, in your recommended videos in your, in your YouTube? The message, the work that we're doing here is getting out, you guys. It is getting out. We are part of, each of us are part of this movement to help more people um, get in tune with and in touch with their inner world of healing and vitality with this whole detoxification process. So I just feel very, very grateful that you guys are here. Very, very grateful. So cool. So good to meet you. So good to meet you. Okay, so we've got these getting ready here in our steamer basket. And I'm kind of out of room in this one. And I'm going to make it fit. Just going to get them all in there like so. And the other one is ready to come out of the steamer. And what I do, because I don't, I, what I found is that I don't want it to stay on the paper because it absorbs some of that moisture and then it ends up kind of getting like wet underneath. So what I'm going to do instead is put it on a, um, like a cooling rack. So hold on. So I've got one of these kind of cookie cooling wraps. So I'm going to just put that over here and I'm going to get the steamer basket. Fuck, oh, that was hot. <laughs> Dang, that was hot. And I need to fill up my container, my pot. Get a little bit more water in there so I don't burn the bottom of my pot again tonight like I did last night. Yes. Okay, so these first ones came out great. So here they are. These are the cooked ones. I'm just going to carefully slide that parchment paper. I know you can't see that. Uh, let me bring let me bring you closer over here. Hold on. All right, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Let me see here. Okay, so can you see that? So I'm just going to scoop it out and I'm going to carefully slide it off of that parchment paper, just like so. 
And these I'm going to actually reuse. Okay, very untraditional what I'm doing right now. This is not what my mother would do at all, <laughs> at all. But it's my best solution for when you do not have banana leaves and you don't want to use foil to touch your food. I do not want to use foil. Right, so there you go. Beautiful pastels. We've got a few more to do. So let's do that. We're going to let that cool down a little bit. We're going to get some more going here. Let's see here. Where were we on the comments? Yes, the healing crisis coming up will be of a physical nature. Epididymis, okay, not so much an emotional one. I'm really not put together that way. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Well, however your healing crisis comes about, you know that it is part of the cleansing of the body. And sometimes it can suck, man. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's like, what? And what is a healing crisis? A healing crisis is just your body cleaning out the toxins that you have put there. Knowingly or not. Knowingly or not. Intentionally or not. If your body, it doesn't matter what... What you plant, what you thought you were doing, it's a matter of what is the actual chemistry that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Pastels, arroz con gondules. I'm saying that so wrong. I do apologize. From my Puerto Rican side, tamales, refried beans, pozole. From my Mexican side, and pancit, adobo, and lumpia. Lumpia for my Filipino family. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful mixture you've got going on there. Emoji King says, Rockstar, my son in law and three adult grandchildren are Puerto Rican. A mm. lot of that. Uh, I love the Puerto Ricans as well. Yes. Such a varied history, you know? So, 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 uh, such a beautiful culture. A lot of similarities in our cultures as well in terms of food and music, although the music isn't similar, but similar in that, uh, you know, deeply rooted historical roots. Puerto Rico, I'm from Trinidad. Puerto Rico is uh, one of the northern um, west, uh, the northern Caribbean, the Greater Antilles. Trinidad is one of the the most southerly isle of the tropical Caribbean. One of the most southerly in the Lesser Antilles. And uh, yeah, so we are making pastels, you guys. It is Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. So honored that you are here. Great baseball players from Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. Chantina, I was looking up how to start a detox from Dr. Morse, and yours popped up. Awesome. Yes, awesome. For, from New Jersey. Well, welcome, babe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, Burns. I may have flipped a couple of now X trolls into to a more curious mind. There you go, because you were pouring love instead of, you know, focusing on any negativity. Negativity, man. It's not where it's at. We are, we are positively focused beings here. Okay, and these pastels are coming up rosy. Rosie's like, what did she say? Did she call my name? What, 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 what did I miss? <laughs> Oh my gosh. And again, these are a treat meal. Okay. This is not what I would recommend for a detox unless you're 
having corn, it is a bit cooked. You know, it's uh, it will slow your detox down a little bit, but I'm also in this for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? I am also in this for the marathon version. So I'm going to allow some treat foods into my, into my diet and I'm not going to freak out about it. And I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I failed. I cheated. No. It's like, yeah, I had some cooked food, which is totally fine. 80% raw, 20% cooked is a beautiful, vital, vitality-rich program for yourself. And also, you, you know, Dr. Moore says 80% 80% alkaline, 20% acid, or if you can do 90% alkaline, 10% acid, even better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, Emoji King. I would love to move to Puerto Rico. I love salsa music. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, by introducing them to iridology. Awesome, Emoji King. Chantina says, asks, do you do iridology readings? Not yet. But when Dr. Morris comes out with his iridology course, I will be taking that. And then I'm not only going to be able to help you guys with your iridology readings, if I want. I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to do that or not. But I want to be able to teach you what I learn in the course with Dr. Morris, just like how I teach you guys right now the different things with um, that I've learned through his his detox specialist course. That's what I do. So for example, all of the master classes are all based on Dr. Morse's work. Everything that I talk about and that I teach here is based on Dr. Morse's work, but in particular, those master classes that I have in my playlist here on the YouTube, those are there for you for free to learn as much as you can to heal the body as much as you can because you can, you know what I'm saying? Because you can, everything in your body has been pretty much created by ourselves. We just didn't know it's okay. Or maybe we came with inherited genetic uh, weaknesses because of our parents and the, the raw materials that they passed down to us. This is my last pastel, you guys. I'm I'm happy. I'm excited to be done making the pastels and I'm excited to taste the pastels, which are going to be properly cool. So we're going to have a live in-person taste test. Yes, we are. Merry Christmas, by the way, if you guys are tuning in, let me know if you're watching for the first time, like Chantina, let me know, let me know. I love popping your, 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 your profile and your picture or your comments up on the screen. This is 100% live right now. If you're watching live, this is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2020. Yes, indeed. And we are making Trini pastels. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I hope they're good. What are you talking about, Burns? You know they're going to be amazing. I know. I know, but you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. Oh, gosh. I did not make a single one with Ivar. Shit. Shoot. Sorry. Shoot. Dolly loves Ivar. I just made these all traditional um, Trini style. Trinidad, we don't put roasted red pepper dip inside of our pastels. So, you know, I was on a authentic Trini kick now because I have my Promasa cornmeal. I have my, um, my folding technique just so, you know what I'm saying? And that is the last one, my friends. How cool is that? So if you're just tuning in right now, welcome. Welcome to The Real Juicy Detox. So glad that you guys found us. So glad that you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Hi, I'm Burns. I'm your certified detox specialist. And we are here. We're making pastels, you guys. Okay, so that one went in at 25 after. So 5, 10, 15, quarter two, that one will be done. And let's uh, let's get ready for a taste test. But before we do that, we got to clean up because here at the Real Juicy Detox, you know, the struggle is real when it comes to cleaning up, right? So I like to do what is called extreme cleaning, okay? When I make a little bit of a, a mess, then I'm going to pause for a minute to clean up so that when I, when class is over, sorry, that was loud. When class is over, I don't have to look at a big messy kitchen to clean up, you know, because that is no, that is no piece of cake. Let me tell you. So I just rinse off this pastel press. This is the first thing that I do, and I put this away. Put that put away like so. And then I'm just going to, let me move this pot lid over here. And then just get this area cleaned up. Dally needs to leave at 10 o'clock. So we got these pastels finished just in time for him to taste some and for him to take some with him. He's going to do a little night shift at the, um, uh, at a company that does, um, snow removal. And we're supposed to have a lot of snow tonight. It's been snowing. It's a white Christmas here in Ontario, Canada. Let me know, where are you guys watching from? Where are you tuning in from? Let me know. I am in Cambridge, Ontario, which is just, I want to say, about an hour west of Toronto, right off of the 401. And um, it's snowing outside. It's snowing outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, let's see if I can do a quick little cleanup. And then we're going to have a taste test of this, uh, these pastels. Oh, God, they look so good, you guys. They came out so perfectly. Almost done. Almost there. 
almost there. It will be worth it. So worth it. Cleaning up as you go. Oh, yeah, baby. That is how to keep your sanity in the kitchen. Am I right? And I don't have a dishwasher. Yeah, we don't have a dishwasher here. And even if I did, I mean, the dishwasher would be full most of the time anyhow. And then you still have to put it away out of the dishwasher. You know what I mean? There we go. We're done. Dishes done. Done like dinner, baby. Done like dinner. Okay, we are done. Got a couple more things there. That is okay. Let me see where Dolly is. Hang on one second. Dolly? The pastels are ready. You want to come for a taste? Okay. All right. So he is busy finishing the wrapping of the gifts. And then he has got to get out of the house to go and um, take care of that little side gig that he got, which is kind of great. Um, so let's just finish putting a few of these things away, but I'm going to do a taste test with you guys right now. So let's do it. Let me see if Kyle wants, uh, Danico wants one. Hold on. Nika, you want a pastel? Okay. Okay, where is the mustard pickles? So I've got a pastel here and I'm the only one who's gonna be eating right now. So let us check this out. Let us check this out. Let me see what the comments are here. Those look so good. Thank you so much, honey. Um, let me see. Rockstar Ruby says, I'm afraid to see what my eyes say. Yeah, my eyes are pretty, pretty messed up. And it takes a while to change your eyes, but they will change. But it's all good. It's all good. We're on the healing journey either way. I know I'm very interested in learning how to. Okay, my this camera is looking very laggy again all of a sudden. Rockstar, yeah, me too, bro. I've been to uh, Villegas, uh, Puerto Rican, that might ring a bell, and Roosevelt Roads, but when the ship in Old San Juan, I was restricted to the ship. Yes, Villegas. My uh, Puerto Rican family is from Ponce. Hey, 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 mahalo. Detox, your being is in the house. Welcome. Those look so good, Burns. I'm telling you, it's like pastels, you guys. So good, right? Bringing back memories of my grandma and mom making tamales. Yeah, man. Abuena, New Jersey. Awesome for Chantina. It is supposed to be cold tomorrow here, but by cold, I mean around 50. That's cold for Floridians, yep. Also Key West for the Cuban boat refugees in 1981. I read irises, think we all, think we all should be taught it in school. Oh yeah, absolutely, kids can learn it, no problem. No problem. I save my kitchen with the dishwasher because I don't splash water. I'm famous for splashing water. Are you a hot mess in the kitchen, Kelly? Water flying everywhere. <laughs> Why not, right? Did Danica, did, yes, Danica made it in. She was here earlier. So you can see her if you go and catch it on the replay. My eyes are green, so I know they are bad. They should be blue, right? Yep. If you're most likely, your eyes are either uh, blue or brown. Any variation of that is a result of sulfur usually and um, 
a lot of messed up stuff in the body, a lot of, you know, trap toxins, but that's okay. That's okay. So these are cooled off right now. And I love them because you could actually just pick them up and eat them with your hand, but that's not how we do it in Trinidad. So what we do, let me see if this camera will be any better. No, it's really laggy and frozen over there. So we're going to forget that camera right now. And we are going to get ourselves a fork and a spoon. I'm going to put on here some um, mustard pickles, some mustard pickles. And these are just, um, I just made this myself with some mustard, a little bit of maple syrup and some of these chopped up um, uh pickled vegetables, but who am I kidding? I don't ever eat anything with a spoon, uh, with a fork. I always eat it with a spoon, but let's, let's have a look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Guys, that is so good. Just nothing, nothing like corn with your pastels. Mm. That flavor in that vegan meat filling. Oh my God, that is so good. So good. Mm. Really good. Perfect ratio of corn and filling. Mm. Really, really delicious. Let me come back up here. My best friend in the Marines was from Cuba. His twin sister was stuck in Cuba till we got her out in 1981. Wow. Some days they look blue, but they have always been green. Yeah. Um, remember those babies that I told you about that Wanda adopted? God bless your soul, Wanda. Her babies, her adopted babies were, um, came from drug addicted moms, unfortunately. And, um, and they were, her, their eyes were brown. Two years later, they're blue. Mm hmm. You can clear up anything in the body. She's been detoxing those babies. God bless her. Mm. I'm 80% happy with the pastel. The filling needed a bit more moisture for sure, but that's okay. Mm. Aside from that, this is like the best pastel I've ever tasted. And aside from the fact that I didn't have slivered almonds. So a perfect balance of corn and mixture. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm happy with these. Mm. Are you half raw, half cooked? I would say most days I'm 100% raw. And every now and then I will have some cooked food, like with the pastels. But I would say I'm 100% raw. 
80% of the time. And then that other 80%, I'm like 80% raw, 20% cooked. Most of my nutrition comes from fruit juice <clears throat> with some chewing food on the side, most of which most days is raw. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yesterday, I think it was like, God bless Wanda. Mm, or was it this morning? I can't remember. Only 80% raw. Mm -hmm. Give yourself 90%. Oh, 80%. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. 80% happy with the pastel. The, and here's why. I know why. Hmm. And I'll tell you why exactly what the modification would be to be a hundred percent awesome. The mixture that I used here today is a mixture that I made into like a ground beef kind of situation, you know, where I spread it out on the dehydrator sheet and then let it dry, not having it like formed in a patty. And so what the intention was, was that I would use this kind of ground um, uh, mixture with a, um, like a tomato base, so to kind of make it like a taco filling. Um, the pastels that I made yesterday, I used completely raw, so it didn't go through the dehydrator. And then no, the ones I did yesterday, also, they were already formed into a burger and then they were put in the dehydrator so that they had a little bit of a dry kind of texture to the outside, almost like a crust to the burger. And then I chopped that up. That maintained a little bit more of the moisture inside. So my only criticism about tonight's pastel was, remember in the beginning, I was like, I don't know, that looks too dry. Should have listened to that inner knowing, and I should have added in a little bit of water to get a little bit of gravy going in here, but that's okay. I'm not unhappy about that. Ooh, those other pastels are ready to come out now. Hang on one second. Take those ones out, put these ones back on, and put some more water in my pot. And then I'll put these ones back on. This is the last set to go in. So here are the ones that I just took out. Now see what I don't like about that? I don't like that they have cracked. And the only reason that they've done that is because of the weight of them. And then as they settle down, then they... Um, Sorry, that's the camera. Forget. I'm like over here. I'm like, no, it's over there. Um, and that would have been alleviated had I had that banana leaf to wrap them in. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. It's all good. I'm going to do the same thing, though. I'm going to take them out and place them onto the rack so that underneath doesn't get um, like water logged underneath the pastel. And if you guys have any ideas other than a corn husk, because I, I don't have corn husk at this time of the year over here in Canada, but I don't know what else to do in terms of, you know, wrapping up the, um, the pastels in something that is inert. I don't want to wrap it in plastic, obviously, because when you heat up the plastic, it's going to affect your... Um, Oh, see, that one is breaking up automatically. Damn it. <laughs> that was the one that was cracking big time before. It's 
It's okay. It's all good. It still tastes amazing. You know what I'm saying? They all still taste amazing. All still taste amazing. Yeah, Kelly says, I don't know what day, but I remember you telling us about Wanda. Yeah, Wanda is a rock star. I'm all raw, raw organic juice and fully baked, but the high from the cannabis is losing its appeal for some reason. The weed's not doing it anymore. Oh, well, maybe you need to switch up your strain, you know? Of course, the natural high is better. I love the natural high too. There's nothing wrong with the cannabis high either. Dr. Morris has actually given that the big old thumbs up. I have a lymphatic rosary in my irises. Cool. Are use my irises to teach. I use my irises to teach iridology. Oh, excuse me. So while you're looking at my irises, I'm looking at yours. <laughs> I don't remember you streaming those, you steaming those, the, 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 the pastels. Oh yeah. The, those are steamed up. Those are steamed up, baby. So yeah. So 80% on the, on the pastel story right now. Um, so pretty damn good. 80% for me to give myself 80% on something. I'm not unhappy about that at all. Not at all. So today is Christmas Eve. I want you guys to remember that I love you so much, that you are worth the investment in yourself in terms of time to do the cooking, in times of time to be a part of the community here and watch the classes and learn all about detoxification because we need to remember that detoxification is the golden key that unlocks our inner world of health and vitality. And if that is what you are interested in, stick around, come back to class, chill out, become a part of the conversation, become a part of the community, and let's do this together. Let's do this together. You can use a 10 times concave makeup mirror to look at your own eyes. Yes, you can. Yes, that last batch. I miss the steaming. Have a blessed day tomorrow. You're are you coming back tomorrow? Are you coming to class tomorrow? I'll be here. I will be bouncing with burns in the morning at 8 a.m. as per usual, because I want to get my energy flows going first thing in the morning. And um, I'm I'm gonna be streaming in the afternoon as well. So come back. Merry Christmas, my friend. Love you so much. I love you as well. Merry Christmas and a reverse iridology chart because you're looking in a, at it in a mirror. Yes. And we also did a, uh, some videos on how to take a perfect video of your iris and then take a screenshot of it as well. So, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of your Christmas love. Um, uh, have a great night and, oh, I need to show you the snow outside. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I think if I mute this and I bring you along here, one second. Now, will this will this work or will it not work? I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Hmm. I think it's going to work. Okay, so let me take you over to see outside. So let's go to the front yard first. Okay. I, I don't know if it's going to work. Let me see. Yeah, I do have a minute. Oh, hang on one second. You guys, let me switch back to this. I'll be right back. Hang on. Watch out, kitty.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. Hang on one second. Okay, I think it's going to work. So come with me. Let me show you. Maybe I'll take a pastel or two. There's no tree. I think I'm going to take a pastel for two. Yeah. Two. Sure. Mm -hmm. We are going to have tons of presents under here. I don't know where I'm going to do my, my rebounding. <laughs> I think the presents are going to be spilling all out over here from downstairs. I can bring those. When I come back. What's that? I can bring them up when you come back. Bring them up when you come back. All right, no problem. All right, so that was, yeah. Did you like the snow outside? Merry Christmas. We'll be joining tomorrow. Awesome. I cannot wait to have you back in class. Always exciting to have new class members. Don't know. I never get up that early, but I'm going to my brother-in-law's tomorrow just in case I don't see you. No problem, babe. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and that everybody has a really beautiful time together. So yes, I'm so excited that you're going to be joining tomorrow. Happy holidays to everyone, Emoji King and everyone. Thank you so much, sweetie. Wonderful white Christmas, right? Thank you. The tree really came out beautiful this year. Bundle up, Dolly. Oh, he's got layers on. Trust me. He works out in construction anyhow in the middle of winter. So he knows all about the layers. He's got like three, four layers on the top, three, four layers on the bottom. Dolly wrapped all the presents, all the presents. There's a few more that I'm going to go down and wrap that he didn't get to, but they're small, but he wrapped all the presents. He's a trooper. See you in the morning, Wanda. See you in the morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Christmas morning. I hope you wake up with some of that Christmas magic in your heart. And um, I will see you guys all soon. I'm going to tune off right now. Oh, Dally's getting his own stuff ready. Um, do you have juice, babe? You want to take some juice with you? I think you're going to be probably be back. I do. I think you're probably going to be out there at like three in the morning. Maybe. Yeah, possible. It's a lot, a lot of snow now, and this tastes good. It tastes good, right? <laughs> Emoji King says, so when you use a mirror or cell phone camera to look at your own irises, you're looking at what you're looking at with what you're looking at with, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> that made him laugh. I'm eating. Don't make me choke. <laughs> he wasn't laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> he does need extra juice well, if you want. I think you should take some of the pineapple juice that's in the fridge there mm -hmm. put that in your cooler and then you'll be all set is there any there yeah there's a whole liter of pineapple juice there take that but I'm pretty sure that you're going to be back and maybe I'll do some I'll do a watermelon juice for you, you and then maybe you can do Watermelon, if doesn't matter, if, do you want to do the watermelon? Uh, not then? really, I'm kind of tired Don't of being in the kitchen then. right now, <laughs> but you do need your juice. So, is there any in the freezer that you can thaw out? The, the broken one. Oh, oh my god, okay, you're chowing down that pretty quick. Take your time, mm -hmm. all right, guys. Warming you're warming up your beast, your yes. beast of a truck, all right, guys. I'm going to be tuning out. I will see you guys tomorrow.
Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Yeah. It's really good, eh? He's going out to uh, to do some snow removal for a company that he got a little side gig with. He's going to try it out. Why not? See how it goes. Why not? He likes working and he loves shoveling snow, so why not? And it gets get a little extra yeah. dinero, a That's little bit of extra mostly, money. It's, it's a good. Uh, yeah, it's good money, but you also like doing that kind of stuff, so money. it's it's easy work for him. So he is going to go and uh, get that coin. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah, so still one more. Good. One, two, three, four, five. I've seven more left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's three more in the in the. Um, steamer all right guys take care i love you thank you for being here and uh, have a great night and i'll see you tomorrow for christmas morning okay